इट्स अबाउट टर्न की वॉट इज दिस टर्म एंड वॉट इज द आइडियोलॉजी बिहाइंड दिस टर्म टर्न की he supply the water system then he commission the water system why people come to tech only so it's a, if you go for a consultancy if you may not have that expertise what we thought in the industry ai revolution is in the peak mm-hmm. technology data the current trends what are the exact challenges you are facing in your industry commercial challenge another is manpower challenge my question was for young minds how do you hire them and how do you sustain them for a long term Hello everyone. Today we have with us Mr. Rutkal Samal, Director of Tech. So what is Tech? Why he chose Wapi and his own introduction and about the partnership behind Tech. Rutkal ji, how are you feeling today and please give us your brief introduction. So it's a great feeling having uh, hers with you today and uh, getting chance to express so what is the motive and the business behind our under our leadership. so it is a tech expert engineers and consultant we thought of it in 2021 myself and my one my partner is a young partner we thought of to establish a technocrat business so we give it a tech expert engineers and consultant it's a collaboration of different uh, technical experts so that why we make it a tech expert engineers and consultant okay so just one question came into my mind that i know your office is in wapi Wapi is not known for this type of industry and Wapi comes in tier 4 why you choose Wapi for the headquarter of tech see uh, the chemical and pharmaceutical hub starts from Wapi if you see the gujarat is the hub of chemicals but the starting point is wapi so every, other things are expanded mm-hmm. but the i see wapi since 2003 and uh, literally say i grew up in wapi in 2003 and the business opportunity what is available in wapi and the services what is required to the industry because this wapi is mix of small scale medium scale industries much more than the higher scale industries so you can go to mumbai you can go to ahmedabad you got lot of consultants working with uh, various companies but when we survey uh, when you thought of to start the business you know we survey the which can be the location to give what type of service we want to provide to the industries so we find wapi is the better point uh, to reach to the mumbai the financial capital of india also the gujarat connectivity and the connectivity towards the north india and the uh, western india everything is through wapi and the business opportunity that, that's for we are here for the business the opportunities are uh, very much here in the wapi because there is no one here to give a turnkey solutions in designing in this region okay so we can say say that tech does not have any competitor tech have competitors but uh, in forefront in wapi there is no competitors Got so it. we are the first one who have all the technocrats with us to give service to the industries fine got it sir so you previously mentioned that your partner uh, and the other director of tech is very young could you please give a short introduction about him uh, it's uh, hrishikesh sinde he is a electrical engineer by training he started his career uh, in 2019 and we worked together uh, around 2 uh, and 1/2 years then we left the organization and thought of to do something because the tuning what we made uh, on the understanding of the utilization of the engineering so our mindset are matched the how to utilize the engineering skills as the fresh mind of the experience mind and mix it and go for the industry evolutions perfect so you have the perfect combination of young mind and someone who have holds a very good expertise yes, in the industry yes. very nice so now i want to know about tech what exactly do you do in tech and what are the services you provide to your clients see tech expert is not only a consultant it's a technology provider it's a solution provider majorly our focus currently is to provide in the four sectors first one when a pharmaceutical or chemical industry starts it's uh, works from the technology transfer so we have the technology transfer team with us then the process engineering then process engineering in the next stage of the technology transfer when the, it is a part of technology transfer also after technology transfer there is lot of process engineering to be done in the industries to get 
right quality right price uh, of the products then comes the engineering real engineering when the technology transfer and the processing is done there is a real engineering which is a design engineering of all sectors like civil mechanical electricals automations hvac air conditions which required all the engineering to get the right facility to produce a product then comes the validation commissioning and validation supports normally as a consultant gives something his role is over but our role is not over how uh, we thought till the end of the product manufactured with the right quality but we thought in the starting of a discussion with the client so that is achieved like that we have engineered something and we have engineered this product is running and not running is not our responsibility it is we thought it is our responsibility to get the product on the right quality produced from the engineered system okay so that is uh, the four parts i described it starts from technology transfer to validation so our expertise group works uh, on this philosophy to give a end to end solution to the client got it so i have heard many a times from you in our general conversations about turnkey what is this term and what is the ideology behind this term turnkey see turnkey if you go a general term it's like uh, someone is giving you a complete solution okay but nowadays uh, turnkey means it's a system concentric solutions someone give a water system it's give i am giving turnkey means he design the water system he supply the water system then he commission the water system it's a small part of thing so we do a turnkey like someone to hvac system hvac turnkey means someone design a air conditioning then uh, install it and validate it so it all is a turnkey but it does not related to the facility productivity okay so, okay for us turnkey means that i told you earlier so we started from technology transfer till commissioning and validation and throughout the life cycle of the project along with client which started by the client so we educate client from the beginning of the designing for the procurement for the inspections installations project management then commissioning and validations okay. so for us tanki is uh, completely different than the other market what is going on as a tanki tanki solutions so our is completely different in the means of services what we are giving to the client and we educate client throughout the life cycle got it. so that he will not get problems after the project validation so you give the consultancy very well to client yes. not just a service yes okay so now just a random question came into my mind that why people come to tech only or in the other way what is the usp of tech so usp of tech i told you like we started with a combination of young and experience mindset so our usp is the experience and the delivering through the young generations so we have expertise group who worked in the operations real operations of chemical real operations of pharmaceuticals real operation other engineering industries so they know what system suits the products other than a theoretical design so definitely there is a theoretical design is required as per the standards codes uh, given by the is codes the api codes astm codes a lot of engineering codes are there so we ic codes so we have to go by the codes for the design that is called theoretically we have to design but same time we know the performance of the system what the system will perform after installation and who will operate it the performance of the system and the operability of the system that is major uh, role play is there so we take care of that part majorly so it's a, if you go for a consultancy if you may not have that expertise what we thought in the industry but in our case we are very lucky to have uh, most of the experienced persons who have more than 25 to 35 years of experience and they are specialization in the real productivity of the plant so there is the guiding force behind us some guiding force also behind us who having the expert at the same level so that is our usp to have a practical and blend of theoretical solutions for the client okay so my next question was sir that how your services can help industries who are present in wapi or around wapi see uh, if you see wapi is uh, major is uh, small and medium scale industries or in and around if you go up to anklesh or anoli the maximum number you can find the small and medium scale industries so mostly large scale industries as on today i see there is a team of technology transfer there is a team of process engineering there is r and d uh, there is a project engineering team but small and medium scale industries i think uh, that there is lacking in the small and medium because it is a huge cost 
uh, operation cost to keep this type of departments in the industry. So we thought we can give that solutions uh, with a uh, very good commercial uh, aspect to those clients of the medium scale industries, small scale, who want to have a proper tech transfer, proper process engineering of the product. So, so that can benefit it to, for the productivity, for the quality of their products and the immediate design solutions wherever required because we are nearby. So it is very much comfortable for our team to interact with the client one to one and uh, they can deliver. Normally, if you see out of uh, long distance, so, so that is, there will be uh, some chances, but WAPI people can benefit from this this is uh, the services they can go for a faster services and gap analysis mm -hmm. so immediate gap analysis can be done uh, what the process gaps safety gaps all these can be done through our uh, expertise team it is for the medium scale and small scale they can benefit in the wapi region much more so we can work with the we are working with the higher uh, paid companies uh, like major companies but the benefit will go to the medium scale companies much more if they connect with us got it so as i know sir that you have a very good combination of people who come with experience and young minds yeah. my question was for young minds how do you hire them and how do you sustain them for a long term time because you know hiring gen z make them employable is very is a huge task how do you hire them and how do you sustain them for a longer time? See, currently we have uh, young teams with us who are working on the theoretical parts uh, with the softwares and all these um, part of the engineering softwares requirement. So we are open for everyone for learning. We are not fixed them. You have to do this work only so we gave them a platform though can uh, learn everything if someone doing a mechanical engineering project so he has to know the mechanical engineering of aspects of everything not only doing a machine part design mm -hmm. you want to know the like say you want to design a car so someone is designing only the engine mm -hmm. someone is designing the only the architecture of the car someone is designing other lights but in our case we give same person the same facility to learn everything so the architect part for the engineering part and the core engineering part so that we, we see that encourages the new generations uh, to stay with us uh, that is the main motivation uh, behind the young generation currently in my organization okay mm. so now ai revolution is in the peak so how does AI affect your industry? So AI is uh, adding very good solutions for our uh, industry because it is mostly in the technology, mm -hmm. technology, data, the current trends. So it's now it is in fingertips. If you see, if you go for a Google, you can search something and then you have to summarize it. Okay. But in AI, if you use the AI, you get a summarized data. So you the, the data of the world in a fingertips so that our engineer can utilize the data. Uh, for a faster service to the client. So it is a human engineer and the AI data. It can be merged and to reduce the time required for the engineering activities. So that is the beneficial. We are thinking of that also. We are trying to do make some AI related uh, solutions to our organizations so that it can integrate with our team to uh, deliver the faster services. Got it. So my next question was, what are the exact challenges you are facing in your industry or in your organization mainly? See, there is two challenges. One is commercial challenge. Another is manpower challenge. So manpower, there is a challenge for getting the right quality of engineers. And the uh, uh, eager to learn the engineers who are ready to dedicate their life for the tech technology so that type of engineers uh, are missing so we are looking for the people that is the challenges but we are trying to resolve it through some training programs some modules so we are preparing for that another one is the commercial aspect i told the competitions so market uh, is a competition so we cannot go to prove first, then say our this is our face. Mm -hmm. Any business need to give some fees first, the quotation, then uh, can start the work. 
बट एज ए ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वी स्टार्टेड थ्री इयर्स बैक ओके सो इट इज़ वेरी मच चैलेंजेबल टू फेस सम वन एंड टेल वी आर द बेस्ट एंड वी कैन गिव यू द बेस्ट सोल्यूशंस with this price so when he compares to another's price so he is giving out 15 years experience and he giving this price and this price but services cannot be uh, verbally uh, told to the any client uh, the convincing that is uh, the main challenges we are facing but it will uh, slowly so what challenges we are faced in first year mm-hmm. now it is almostly 60 70% to reduce in the third year so hope probably within a one year will also come out from these challenges also got it sir sir what is the one advice you want to give to all the budding engineers who have already graduated or either will be graduated in the coming years what will be the one piece of advice to them see uh, currently uh, there is lot of engineering colleges and lot of engineers are uh, coming out of uh, the colleges the missing point is the vision so vision goals 90% engineers till fourth year completion they don't have the goals and visions mm-hmm. what to do next they wait for the campus then uh, otherwise they go search for jobs and start a job regular job but what is engineering definitely you have to do a job anywhere you have to do a job but if you ask what is your vision and goal they are not able to tell what is the vision and goal of the self papers engineer and the skill learning is missing the engineers come out uh, the theoretical knowledge also missing somehow somehow the uh, engineering skills uh, this may be educational uh, system with our education system having that law flaw in the system so it is skill development is not happening throughout the engineering periods and i can say the eagerness to do something that is in the new generation that somehow it is missing most of the not the everyone most of the things uh, people i see i take interview so it's self initiation is missing <laughs> them self initiation um, focus uh, on that till completion of the job so that is missing so i am worry about the next generation but let's say whatever possible from our side we will uh, make it happen in our organization through training programs through some learning programs so that will be mostly benefit some of the engineers thank you so much utkal ji for coming uh, in our studio at hustlers in town and giving us the insight about the industrial sector thank you for coming